Hello everyone. This problem appeared in gate 2017 for one mark and it is based on synchronous machine. So we will see the problem what it is asking. So here a three phase 50 hertz star connected cylindrical rotor synchronous machine is running as motor. So first of the information we achieve from this statement is it is a motor. Now this machine is operated from a 6.6 .6 kV grid and it draws current at unity power factor. Means the motor is operating at unity power factor. It means it is not taking any reactive power from the grid or it is not supplying any reactive power to the grid. So Q in, from this statement we can infer that Q input is equal to 0. This is the second information. Now, the synchronous reactance of the motor is 30 ohm per phase and the load angle of 30 degree is also given. Now, we have to calculate the power delivered to the motor in kilowatt. So, let's see what we can do here. First of all, we will draw the circuit so that we will get the idea how to calculate the power delivered to the motor and here no mechanical loss is mentioned it means power developed will be equal to power output so we have to indirectly calculate the power developed in the motor now from this circuit we can infer that in motor Vt at the input side and Ef at the developed power. So for developed power we know S developed apparent developed power is equal to Ef Ia conjugate. Now Ef is mod of Ef angle minus delta because it is motor so its Ef angle would lag from the supply voltage. So that power can flow from the source to load or source to the motor, right? So now after that, it is very easy. We just have to follow the procedure. Now EF angle minus delta multiplied with IA conjugate and IA is nothing but the Vt angle 0 minus EF angle minus delta divided by J axis. It is nothing but the KVL. Okay, now it is EF VT angle 90 minus delta. After solving, you will get this equation. Now, if after getting this equation, we can easily calculate or we can easily break this equation into two components one is cosine and one is sine. The component with sine will be the reactive power and the component associated with cosine would be real power. So here I needed power developed since power developed is asked in the problem here. So EF VT by excess cos 90 minus delta we will put cos in this angle and here as well. So after getting this equation, we know cos 90 is equal to 0. So this will be eliminated and the standard formula of power developed we can achieve from here. That is EF Vt by excess sine delta. We know Vt, we know excess, we know sine delta. Since delta was given, we can easily calculate sine delta. Now, we don't know EF, but one information was given at the a statement number two or second sentence while I was reading the problem that motor is operated from a grid and it draws current at unity power factor. So I infer that Q input is equal to zero. Now I will see what will happen after Q input is equal to zero. So again, we don't need to remember any formula. We know that at input side voltage is Vt and current is Ia. Now apparent power is Vt angle 0 and Ia angle 0 conjugate and after doing all the jugglery we will 
reach to this equation that would lead to VT square by excess angle 90 minus VT EF by excess angle 90 minus delta. Now we need to calculate Q in and we have to equate that to 0. Now we will break this component into sine term to get the reactive power component. Now sin 90 would be 1. So VT square by excess sin 90 that would be 1. And here Vt EF by excess cos 90 since sin 90 minus delta is cos delta. Now we have to equate this equation to 0. So we will reach to the formula Vt is equal to EF cos delta. So cos delta is nothing but mod of Vt divided by EF. And we need to calculate EF. We know Vt, we know cos delta. So we calculated EF after putting the phase value of Vt. I will get phase value of EF excitation EMF that would come out to be 4400 volt. Now to calculate P developed, we need to put in the formula of P developed and since it is a three phase machine, so we should remember to multiply this equation by three. Now the power developed is three V phase E phase by excess sine delta. If you will take line value, you should not take three since it will be VL and EL divided by excess sin delta. Now I, I have put all the values in this equation and I have achieved 838.3 kilowatt and that was the answer for this question. I hope you got this problem. Thank you very much.